because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV proudly sponsored by Bravo Archie Sharp joins me, mate. Very good to see you. It's been way too long. How are we? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Good, mate. Good. Obviously, looking forward to seeing you back in action on Friday night. It's been what eight, nine months. So it will be around eight, nine months since you stepped in the ring. I bet you just kind of got itchy knuckles at this point. I think it might be longer than that. I think last time I was out was June. Yeah, so we're not far, not far out. But uh, but yeah, I'm, mate. I can't wait to get back. Can't wait to do my thing. Glad to be back at your call as well um, in London. So it's always it's always a good good atmosphere here when it's busy. So I'm looking forward to it. I know we spoke a couple of times, kind of since your last fight. But do you just want to kind of tell us if you can how frustrating in one sense it's been not being able to fight, but also perhaps a bit of a time how it's been to reflect and kind of tell you what you want from this next bit of your boxing career. Yeah, hundred percent, definitely frustrating, um, especially when there's fights out there that I was supposed to be doing. Like obviously in January, I was supposed to be fighting for a final eliminator against Wilson. Um, there's been a lot of fights that I should have been in, and for out of my control, these fights are getting pulled. So, so yeah, it has been very frustrating. Like I say, a long time out. But obviously, in the in the long run now, I'm back with my old trainer Richard. I've uh, got Ian Weaver, who's also joined the team, and obviously my main trainer now is uh, Roy Jones Jr. So I've picked up a lot. Learning a lot, and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's God's timing, mate. God's timing, so it's, it's perfect. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I was going to come on to that, of course. Just seeing you walk in, um, there's a bit of a different aura when you got the man Roy Jones Jr. behind you. Oh, exactly that, mate. There's a he's lot. cool, isn't he? He's cool. He's, he's the man, mate. He's the man, and it's just good to learn and pick his brains. Like as a kid, Roy, all these great, uh, great fighters is who I studied and who I looked up to as a fighter. So, so having him in my corner, giving me advice and tips and what to do, what not to do and how to generate more power. Just there's, there's a lot lot that I've learned in a short space of time. I'm looking forward to, to showcasing that on Friday. I know one thing boxing fans would love to do with Roy is sit down and kind of talk about his fights of the past and perhaps talk about more like his history in the game. Have you had time kind of from a fan sense to just sit down with Roy and talk about his memories of his world title fights and kind of what, what he done in, in his time in the ring? Yeah, 100% we've spoken a lot and also like, for example, we've got a southpaw, so he'll be like, right, go and look at this fight, go and look yeah. at that fight. And then so he uses his own fights? As, yeah, 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 because he encouraged that sort of style for myself, so that you, you get all sorts of styles of fighters and everybody knows me as a flash, hands down, always box, do you know what I mean? Pop shot in and doing, so for me, his style, if anything, it's like, that's because like I say, as a kid, that's what I've watched. So when I'm shallow boxing in the living room as a kid, yeah, I've got hands down trying to pop shot, do this, do what he does. So now having him in my corner and encouraging that and showing me how to do it correctly, how he used to do it, be unorthodox, it's, it's like, honestly, it's a blessing. Obviously, I know, you know, as a trainer, you've got that friend relationship now and it's a bit different, but at first, did you have to pinch yourself a little bit going into the gym and having Roy hold the pants? Yeah, so originally there wasn't no, like originally when it's all come about, I weren't going, Roy wasn't training me, it was just like he was training Young Lightning Junior um, and obviously he was over here for Eubank fight. So I was introduced to him and it was all, everything, I was just picking up tips, picking up tips. And then um, after a little while, obviously I left the eye box and decided to go back to Richard. So I went back to Richard um, and then yeah, we just reflected on a few things and I was like, look, like we, need to, we need to either bring people in, we need to do a change and obviously we spoke to Roy and said, look, would you be interested in working with us as well? And he was like, yeah, 100%. So, so that's how we brought uh, Roy into the, into the camp. And yeah, now we're all learning. Richard's learning off of him. Like I said, we've got Ian, we've just recently brought Ian in. Like, it, it's good, I'm excited. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in the ring and see kind of Archie Sharp. I don't know, 2.0, 3.0, the new Archie Sharp. 100%, exactly that. Like the, the old Archie Sharp to an extent, but with, with a lot more better, do you know what I mean? So. We'll see. The kit alone, I think, is gonna gonna um, gonna speak for itself. <laughs> yeah, mate, can't wait for Friday night. I love a Friday night at York Hall. Um, I know, obviously, every interview we seem to have done for the last two years brings up that same name, Shakur Stevenson. He's now up at lightweight. Just a quick one on his performance the other night. Um, a beatdown, really, of Shino. He box class, Shakur. He box well. He got one three five now. So look, we we'll see. This, the fights are still there. Still can be on his radar, 100%. But look, I've got to deal with what's happening with the BO at the minute. 
whether we go BC route, Biola, I've said about I'm open to fighting Albert Bell, um, who's 22 and 0 for final eliminator. I'm open to fighting all the big fights. Oscar Valdez, look, Navarrete, Oscar Valdez is now fighting at Lopez 2. So Navarrete's not even fighting next. So why am I not, I'm number one in the Biosta, why am I not fighting Navarrete next? So these are all questions that I'm asking. All I can do, mate, is just stay focused, stay in the gym, keep winning. Hopefully now we've got, obviously we've got Roy here now as well, so there might be a few angles that we can pull. Because at the end of the day, that's what, look, like, at the end of the day, you've got Roy here. Roy, Roy's got great connections in the boxing, because like Sam, I'm, I mean, I'm in the gym every day, mate. What fights can we make? There's some big fights out there, so why not, why are they not being made? Why is it not as simple as... The rankings. Just, yeah, it, the rankings. right. Right. As simple as either the rankings or if you ask a, if you, or if you ask a question, it gets answered. Why is it you ask a question and you're sitting on your hands for two weeks waiting asked, for a response? This is what I've asked the WBO. I've asked the WBO the same thing. You've got a ranking system. I'm at number one for last year. People are skipping me. What is the reason for that? Um, they, something was said about my inactivity. But I'm in the gym. But I'm in the gym. My inactivity. I was supposed to fight Liam Wilson in January. Um, who's at the time was number three or four for a final eliminator and then they just kind of give me the elbow and then put someone else there. So, I don't know, mate. It's a good question. I'd like to ask the WBO. Well, it'll all work itself out, I'm sure. Exactly. And then when you lift the world title, it'll make it double sweet. Oh, 100%. Look, I've definitely had a hard road. Um, been a lot of stop starts, a couple of injuries, some other political stuff, um, inactivity, but we're still here grinding away. I'm 28 tomorrow, so I'm still a young pup. And then, um, so yeah, it's all good, mate. It's all good. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 